Hello, Leo. This is your monthly, March monthly reading with Alchemist Tarot, serving tarot straight up. I knew I was going to mess that up. <laughs> so I'm going to be pulling energy for the overall month and then what's going to be going on in your main sectors of money, love, and career, what you need to focus on in your communication zone, and then a card for each week for this month. Um, also, I want to share my readings are for your sun, moon, and rising. So if you have a Leo and sun, your sun, moon, or rising, then this might resonate with you this message. I also recommend watching videos for your sun, moon, and rising because then you get a holistic understanding of what's going on for the month. Mainly because this is a general reading for Leos and I am not doing one-on-one -on -one personal readings. So that might help you get more insight, okay? So I've already cleansed my cards offline. I'm just gonna go ahead and shuffle and then pull the cards out. And again, if you're new, thank you so much for joining me. Okay, and if you are a return subby, you know how much I appreciate you, okay? So overall, Leo, you got Nine of Cups. Amazing energy to have to kick off March. I feel like a lot of you are getting your vitality back. You have this sense of like, yes, thank goodness we're entering into spring. Thank God. Um, you know, one thing about March is that we're still in Pisces season, that I'm recording that in Pisces season. And this, you know, a little bit in your feels and things like that. And Leo, I feel like you've done a lot of, you know, inner work for many of you have been really focusing on you know, how to evolve yourself. And with the Nine of Cups, this is all about a wish fulfilled, you know, things that you, you're you starting to see manifest in your life and that you feel good about where you are, that you think that, you know, even having enough to share with other people in your life, kind of showing that warmer part of yourself, Leo, which, you know, you guys are so charming and you really do know how to, you know, um, get everyone feel like they're involved in something. But I do feel like March, you're starting to feel like, gosh, you know, the weather's starting to warm up, like things are starting to look, you know, better, the sun's out, you know, you just have this different outlook on life in March. I feel like is a great, you know, it's going to be a great time for you, but also you're starting to really appreciate the people in your life and wanting to share um, what you've, what you've accumulated. Okay. Now in your money zone, three of pentacles. So this is definitely, you might be seeing, um, Leo, if you are a business owner, you might start to see, um, you know, revenue generating, where you're starting to see all your hard work is now starting to pay off. You're, and maybe not like robustly, but you're starting to see signs that, okay, gosh, like I'm getting more sales, I'm getting more clients, people are signing up to my newsletter. I'm, you know, if you work for someone, you're starting to, people are starting to notice you and give you more recognition. Um, but I do see that you're kind of up on, on, you know, kind of this rising star where you're starting to grow and be recognized, which Leo, let's face it, you love that. Okay. That's all about Leo. But what's great about this is that the three of pentacles is so you had this idea or you kind of started with something and now with the three of pentacles, you've actually put action behind something and you're starting to manifest it and see results. So all the work that you've been doing, all the productivity you've been putting into something, you're starting to actually notice that there's there's growth and it's really exciting to you. Now for the your love area, we got eight of wands, eight of wands. This can, okay, so if you are single, you, you might have the desire because you're very like, you know, you're just on cloud nine, right? You might find yourself jumping into a relationship very quickly or some, you meet someone and it starts to, to, to get serious very quickly. I, there's nothing wrong with that. I always, you know, I'm an Aquarius, so I'm very much like huh. <laughs> quick into relationships is not my vibe, but for Leo, you guys, what I would tell you is that you love to be loved. You love to have, you know, that, you know, someone in your life that appreciates you and, and vice versa. What I'll tell you, Leo, we're not in a retrograde, but just like anything, I would say keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. Learn about this person before you move into something super quick. This can be a very passionate affair. This can be a very passionate encounter, but it, it can be a very hasty decision and it might end just as quickly. So just keep that in mind. Um, for you guys as partners, I do feel like, you know, life is gonna start to pick up for both of you. And what I would say is that make sure you guys are on the same page if you're a couple, because I think, like I said, life is just gonna start to pick up and at, you need to be 
in the boat rowing the same direction okay on the same page so I do and I think as a couple too that you guys are um there's something that you're expediting as a couple so maybe there's something that you guys are doing a creative project that you're that you're both really interested in and you're starting to like put a lot of effort behind that that can be another message for someone out there in your career you got six of pentacles you know to me this is like the win-win card you know this is about giving and receiving this is about cooperation and partnerships so for many of you in your career you can be you know getting on teams with people like the dream team you know and you're just able to like knock out stuff really easily you're able just to get things done there's your everybody's on the in a good vibration um and you complement each other you know also this can mean that you're in a in a position of power where you can actually pay it forward. For some of you, you might be taking on a mentorship. You might be mentoring someone. That's what I meant to say. Um, and what I'll tell you is that this is beautiful energy because Leo, what you put out right now, you're going to get back, you know, definitely in the future. Um, I do think that people you're in demand and I think people are going to start to, you know, want to know more about you and ask you more questions and get your advice and expertise. For those of you who are entrepreneurs, I do feel like um, media opportunities might be something that can be pretty big for you, meaning that you might you might be doing pro bono work or you might be doing volunteering or you know your company is sponsoring something and you start to get noticed. So there's something that you might be doing there as well. Um, but what I will tell you is that this is give and take. So this is really strategically aligning to people who can who can help you just as much as you can help them. So your communication zone. I never love seeing this card because there's always, you know, the seven of swords is a very it's always like this sneaky energy. <laughs> Leo, what Spirit is telling me is that you might be, because you're on cloud nine and you're focusing on a lot of things and, and many, you know, areas of your life are going very well for you and you're excited, that doesn't always mean that the people around you are excited for you. And there could be people who are kind of lingering and waiting for you to fall or fail. And I hate saying that because no one, no one wants that, but it's, it's also the truth, unfortunately. I would tell you that, Leo, this is the month that if you catch someone being underhanded or if you catch unethical behavior, whether it's to, toward you or someone else, address it, okay? This is not, don't allow someone to get away with some bullshit, okay? This is, you need to cut it, nip it out of the bud. Um, because if you, even though you may not be that type of way and you may not act or say those things or believe those things, if you hang out with people who do that, you're guilty by association. So cut out the bad apple. Cut it, you know, that they keep saying that. So just communication zone, you might have to just kind of keep an eye on people around you and you might have to, you might have to be a leader and, and kind of put someone in place, okay? First week in March, you got five of swords. Five of swords, okay, so it's right under that three of pentacles energy. Leo, I feel, I mean, the Three of Pentacles is all about building and partnerships and working and, and honing on your skill sets. And I feel like you've been very, like, getting tunnel vision. Like, you've been really focusing on your on your work and your money and growing yourself. And what I'll tell you is that some people in your life may feel like you have forgotten about them. And they may make you feel like, oh, you're too good or, you know, you think you're better than me. And it's none of those things. And by the way, when people do that and they, they project on you, it's really, that's about them. That has nothing about you. But the five of swords can be arguments and disagreements and unnecessary, you know, um, fights that just, I feel like people might be trying to pick with you because you have been very focused on yourself and they might take that very personal. So I would say just, you know, try to stay as cool, calm, and collected as possible because what you don't want to do is let that ferocious Leo temper out because you might regret saying something later on. But that doesn't mean you, you, you still need to stand your ground. You just need to let them know, look, I'm not going to spend any energy on this. I'm not going to spend time on this type of discussion. 
For the second week, you got King of Swords right under that Eight of Wands. Now, what I'm going to tell you, the King of Swords is all about communication. It's all about thought. Having a very clear vision of, of the future. This, um, I would say, Leo, that I do think that there are going to be quite a few people in your life and you might be taking... I'm saying that because it's kind of under that love energy, that eight of wands where, you know, things might be coming into your life quick. <laughs> I feel like you might be communicating and, and getting to know pe people um, through, you know, obviously technology, social media is very, very big. Um, you might be putting yourself on kind of center stage and on these global pa platforms and, you know, you're, you're starting to get noticed and people are interested in you and they want to take part of what you're doing and they want to know more about you personally. So I do feel like the second week, if you get yourself out there and you really leverage the power of social media with that King of Swords energy and use technology to your advantage, I really feel like things are going to start to take off and it's going to escalate and elevate what you're trying to, to promote or feature or whatever the case is. Um, King of Swords is... King of Swords can be known as a little bit of a detached energy too. So I would tell you that don't safeguard your emotions in your heart a little bit, Leo. I wouldn't just wear your heart in your sleeve that, that, that second week. Just know that people are going to be interested in you, but they may not want to get to know you for genuine reasons. Okay, so that's for someone out there. Third week, Ace of Cups, beautiful energy that's right under that Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this is, we talked about this kind of paying it forward. You know, do things that you love, Leo. So, you know, the Six of Pentacles, like I said, if you're doing some pro bono work, or if you're doing some volunteering work, or, you know, it's a win-win partnering with people because you want to, not because you feel like you're going to get something, not necessarily, some, you will get something out of it, but that's not your intention going in. I would say the Ace of Cups, this is all about, creativity, passion, a new beginning. For some of you, you actually can meet um, probably someone that you might want to be in a relationship through kind of social activities. That certainly could be the case as well. Um, but you're putting yourself out there and people are seeing you in a different light and it makes you feel good, Leo, because the Ace of Cups is all about that self-fulfillment too. It's like, gosh, I really just, this makes me feel so good that I'm doing this and I'm a part of this. And I do think that it's what you put out is what you're going to get back in. And for Leo, what you put out, you're going to get 10 times back. What, you know, you feel good, you you know that you're doing the right thing, and it makes you sleep well at night, okay? Fourth week, you got the full card. It's right under that seven of swords. I'm going to tell you that you, spirit tells me that you're going to, you take people as you find them, Leo, okay? But... They also have to prove to you their worth. And Seven of Swords, I would say this is not the month to be, this is the month to be just very honest and direct. This is no, you know, no bullshitting. Um, the full card is really moving forward with going into the unknown. And so what I'm saying is, Leo, you might have to, <laughs> When you meet someone, you a lot of times we give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, you have to earn my trust, right? But I'm not going to, you know, you give people a chance, right? And so I, I really feel as if with this full card that you just, you need to take people and find, and take them as you find them. I'm really stumbling in on my words. Sorry, this is not the easiest energy. Um, but... Just because you take people as you find them and, you, and you're open to learn about someone, that doesn't mean that you have to let them into your inner circle, okay? So you, this is about just taking it step by step because there's usually a little bit of naive energy that goes with the full that you're kind of just like, oh my God, they seem awesome and they seem like a great person or, you know, they would never do that with me. They could do that for to you, okay? So just be really careful because that seven of swords on top of that full card, someone might be trying to play you or take, you know, your good nature and take advantage of that. So just be kind of cautious with, with that energy. If somebody is trying to get 
too much of your attention or want to know too much of something specific, it could be a little bit of a red flag. Just saying, keep your eye on it, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I do post there quite a bit and there's free insights that you get to, to watch and get more information. Um, if you're interested in a reading or anything else, all that stuff's in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next month. Bye.